go and roll a snake. Have any of you done that before? Roll yeah. snakes yeah. with Play-Doh and things? Yeah. Now the trick when you're rolling the snake, guys, is to roll it across the palm of your hand, the centre of your hand. Not your fingers, because your fingers will make the snake very bumpy. Okay? So <coughs> you want to make a nice smooth snake. And when you're rolling, as you're rolling up and down, also try and move across at the same time. It's a bit tricky, but you'll get the hang of it. Okay. When you have your snake made, just put it on your drawing. So when you've got that done, the bad news is I need you to make at least ten more. Are we okay? Yeah. Miss you don't have a very thin bit in the centre. If you have a thin bit, just roll out the end. We'll pick out one snake. Okay. And we're going to change this snake and turn him into a snail. Okay? So how we do that is, we just take the end of the top, whichever, and you just curl him like you'd curl your hair. Twist it around and around and around. Make sure there's no big holes, okay? Everyone see? No, Keep no, going no. till you get to the end of your snake. This is the world of the snakes drawn in my pot. Yeah. So we've just done the very bottom one, which is the base. The very base of the pot. And we're going to do the next snail. Snake, sorry. And it's going to go out. And the second one is going to go out a bit further. And we're going to build them up one on top of the other. Okay? So the next snake is going to go on top of the snail. Now when I say on top, I do mean on top, but I mean at the edge on the outside. Okay, let's put the Exactly. So on, do you know what I mean when I'm saying that? At the outside edge, and you need to kind of, not squash it, but kind of stick it down a bit, put a slight amount of pressure and twist it round the whole way round. Okay, can everyone see what I'm doing? Yeah. Yeah. If it's bigger, that's not a problem because we need to continue. So you'll continue up again. Still on the outside edge. And what will happen is, with a little bit of time, you'll see that the bowl shape will begin to go outwards. Okay, so when you're putting the snake on, put him on on the outside edge, nice and gently. Press it ever so slightly so it sticks. Nice and gentle, nobody nice. rush, okay? It's going to be like a pot. That. Yeah, so it's like there's one snake, and you put the next one there instead of there, yeah, on the outside edge. That's perfect, fantastic. So that's our next step with your pots. So some of you will have to make up a few more snakes, but I'll just show you what to do once you have them made. So imagine, if you all look up here, guys, please. Imagine that this is one of your bowls and it's coming out like your bowls are. Now, how do we get it to go out? Put more inwards. Yes, that's how we'll get it put back in. To put it out, we put the snake on the very outside edge, didn't we? Now we want to start coming back in. So we're going to put the next snake on the inside edge, okay? So what will happen is, we'll begin to get our shape to come in then, okay? So we've all got bowls going out, and next we're going to get them to come in by applying the next snakes on the inside edge, okay? Like these, look. Do you all understand what I mean There you go, Liban. Like that. Like that. Thank you. Can do that. Once you're in about here, what you next need to do is put another snake on and put it straight on, right in the middle. So you're not on the outside, you're not on the inside, you're right smack in the middle, okay? And do maybe one or two, depending on the shape. King bottle, kid. Let it dry.